And all you need is love news. All you need is love. Love. Submitted by Mi Costa. You lie. The FDA sent a warning letter to a bakery after they included love in their ingredient list. I get it. They're like, excuse oh. me. Love is not the ingredient. You're trying to be creative, but don't fuck with me. Dude. They're being a little bit too hipstery, maybe. Yeah, let's stop that. Yeah. Because love could mean drugs. I always say that when things are cooked with love, it tastes better and you can taste yeah. the love. Where can you buy this love? You have to find it in your heart. It's an energy. I'll give you evidence, all right? Eat David's cooking and then go to one of the cafes here and eat their cooking. But his cooking makes him want to throw up all the time. Really? That's funny because you ate my food twice. And I threw it up. No, you ate times. his Korean food and you loved it so much. Uh, you wanted all his recipes and you wanted him to come back. I was being said. polite because my mom was there. She taught me better. But Really? Because I have a picture in my phone <laughs> where she's... You're not supposed to have your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard you asking him to come over and cook all the time and... How come you didn't invite me? That sounds like and bullshit. Bring your chili, bring your mac and cheese. Wow, you're going to turn against me, girl? <laughs> the truth. We all enjoy David. It's cooking. I'm just trying to prove a point. When food is made from love, mm -hmm. it tastes ten times better mm -hmm. than an angry Chinese cook that just lost his gambling money. I have, I have a question. Sometimes that stuff tastes kind of good too, <laughs> especially if you're drunk. But Bart's always talking about how his mom makes some food and it tastes like garbage. But it's not coming from love. It's coming from health consciousness. It's that because she loves him. No, it's coming from fucking Confucius say. Yeah, that's right. It's, there's no love in it. It's it's coming from he has to be healthy or he's gonna die. Yeah. It's that's coming love. from fear. Anyways, this bakery, they create. No, I like it. I'm kidding. <laughs> you all heard it, folks. Jill was lying. I'm a fucking lawyer. So this bakery is called Neshoba Brook Bakery, and it's based in Massachusetts. So the FDA went over there, and they were inspecting, and apparently there were some unsanitary things happening there, so they had to fix that. And part of that, like part of that notice, mm. was the fact that they were saying that they can't list love as an ingredient because it might be deceptive. Of course. I mean, it makes sense. Because people might say, Drugs. what is this love? Is it gluten-free? Yeah. Love so is gluten. This is the granola where love is listed. So this is what it looks like. And then this is the ingredients. So they didn't pass the health and safety? So I guess they gave them a warning to fix all of the things that they needed to fix, and one of them was the fact that they have love in the ingredient. Yeah, because it's not organic. When people do that, they put it's a tagline versus an actual ingredient. Yeah, yeah. it makes sense. That could be cum, for all we know. Because it is called a love juice, and the granola is sticky. I was gonna say it's a rat shit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> rat shit. That's love. No, because I imagine the FDA coming in, going, "Okay, you got a rodent, you got cockroach, you got in and <laughs> what is oh this? Gosh. Love." <laughs> <laughs> is that what you call this shit? Cockroach and rodent shit? Love? Oh yeah, because there's a certain amount that's allowed, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. It's a nominal it's amount, so but it's for a huge batch of cereal, and they say like, there's an acceptable amount of point whatever percent in that to be rat shit, but it's dissipated over like, 100,000 pounds of cereal. If I don't see it and I'm not fucking vomiting out of my butthole, I that guess I'm alright. Yeah. Ever since you guys had Taika, do you guys still go out to eat? Nair. Well, he Not can't like go out. Before, huh? He can't go out yet. So we just postmates, or we make food at home. That's the best way to do it. That's why I came to your guys' crib. Thank you very much. Cause my mom told me that. <laughs> She's like, your mom has manners, you animal. Well, that's like a Korean thing. Like usually when they have kids or something, you would come over and you make them a meal. Cause it just makes it easier for them. Yeah. So you don't go out at all, Taika? No. Not for you now. Guys done? I know where that's enclosed. Oh, but we don't eat out though. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then it oh, just the, houses like germs and a bunch of people that are sick. Like if it, everyone's congregating in one spot, that's how we just go out to open like fields. Yeah, and yeah. they always say you don't take your kids unless they need to go because then people in the waiting room, or to the doctor, sorry. Not, don't take the, sorry. Don't take your kids to the doctor unless yeah, they really have sick. to go. Yeah, they say you can't go to enclosed public spaces. So those hikes where it's just open is cool. And the closest thing we went to a restaurant is like having Taika in the backseat and mm -hmm. we go through the drive through of In-N-Out. Yeah. And even our, our his pharmacist, or his pediatrician, they have a sick room, so that's cool. Oh yeah, they do for the kids. Parent but once he gets his boring. shots, then we can go to like restaurants and all that stuff. It's like a puppy. What is that again? November. He has to be dewarmed. He's supposed to be <laughs> dewarmed. <laughs> Cold. Uh, no, dewormed. I don't know, it depends. One month, my they, it, they say one month, but then for them it's two months. For this guy it's two months. He's oh, like an animal. I feel like I'm learning all over again through you guys. Yeah, don't even vaccinate him. Just use vinegar and blueberries. Yep. And Windex. And Moonstones. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar, blueberries, and honey. Yeah, I heard that. And I'll come over and play a spiritual <laughs> yeah. song with my flute to bless him with good health. Yep. 
And when you get kicked out, that, anyways, that already sounds sick. <laughs> anyway, so the owner of this bakery was saying that this whole thing, like the love ingredient thing, was just. He said that it just felt so George Orwell, and he said, "quote I really like that we list love in the granola." People ask us what makes it so good. Put it in the tagline. Yeah, yeah it's kind of nice that it, that this is an artisan artisan bakery and that you can say that there's love in it and then put a smile on people's faces. That's what I say all the time too because when I make stuff, it was like, oh, do you guys like it? It's like, yeah, it's really good. I was like, it's made with love, guys. Yeah. I like your stuff. Thank you. Have you ever tried cooking yourself when you're upset and then you eat it and it tastes, it tastes like shit? Yeah. yeah. Yep. If I'm upset and I'm cooking, and if it make while I'm cooking, I start feeling better. It tastes good. But if I'm mad throughout the whole thing, it's bark. You know, I made this these chili cheese fries, and you know the same cheese sauce that I use for the mac, I I use that for the chili cheese fries now. Mm -hmm. So we don't take like melt just like shredded cheddar. I take the white gouda cheese mm -hmm. sauce and I put it over the chili. Fancy. It's so fucking good, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, that shit. My mom says when the food's really really spicy. At least in our household, if the, if the food's really spicy, they're like, man, you must have been pissed when you were cooking oh, yeah. this. And it was like cereal. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this fucking cereal spicy? Habanero cereal. No. Habanero gross. Have your Captain Crunch! Oh, actually, I wonder what that would taste like, because every every time you eat something spicy, they tell you to drink milk and then a cereal. Try it, you let know us what know. what I decided for it when I become a parent? I want my kid to take food to school that I made that's fucking better than all the other shit that the other kids are gonna eat. Kids are so stupid, he's gonna throw it away because he wants to look like no, everyone else. No, my kid's gonna know what's up. Because when I was a are kid- packed embarrassing shit? Like the ethnic shit, like King Pop? Oh, 100%. But now it's different though, people want that shit. Oh though. yeah, yeah, true. Cause octopus don't no want that shit, or kids. Yeah, well, cause like-, like Octopus in a lunch pail? Octopus don't want that. <laughs> I remember I was gonna bring like this kimchi fried rice my mom made, and then my dad told me not to bring it cause he said that I was gonna get made fun of. But I wanted to bring it cause I was oh, like, wow. I love this shit. Cause yeah. I wanted to eat it at lunch. You probably wanted to eat your lunch. He's <laughs> 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 like, you don't eat that. That's gonna be a bad idea. It's like, the fuck, bro? You know he's gonna make fun of his culture. Oh, my mom's kimbap is the shit, though. I could eat that shit. I like kimbap. You don't know, because you don't ever bring us that night. I could try to make my mom's kimbap. It's hard. No, you just said your mom's is bomb. Why would I want yours? <laughs> <laughs> You're just never going to eat any of my food anymore. <laughs> I am. Fuck it up. I am. Yeah, let's bring it for Bart in a nice little, little, little thing. Like, here you go, Bart. Don't you fucking feed her or you're cut off, too. <laughs> So, Have you sorry, been trying dude. to cook more? Because I remember before you got pregnant, you were trying to cook more often. No, I'm trying to just get my life together right now with fucking no sleep. Yeah, once you move know. past that, you'll work on that later. Yeah, I mean, he can't even eat right now anyway. Yeah. Oh, you made your salsa? That thing's delicious. <laughs> I made salsa. Oh, muy fantastico, puta. Nice. You two have the perfect guys to start cooking for though because they probably won't critique your shit and eat it, eat it all. There's nothing that I've made that's pretty fucked but up. But even if it's fucking ass fuck, oh, I'll still God eat it. Dang it. I'll never I'll let know, you know if, I'll let you know if it's good and I'll let you know if it's ass fuck, but I'll still eat both of them. I've only right, eaten your dessert. I forgot what it was. The ice cream sandwich. Yeah, ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. And, and spam musubi. It's good though. I think I, I had those two things that you made. Yeah, I, don't make I can't even remember the last thing I made. You made a tuna sandwich casserole. Oh, yeah, thing. that cake thing. I like that. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's That's just thing, like stoner food. Like yeah. I could, I like that shit. It feels like a 1960s party item. Yeah. My, I don't know. <laughs> like I want to scoop that shit with like a bunch of Lay's potato chips yeah. and a Coke. She made enchiladas and chilaquiles before. It was pretty good. I used to always make enchiladas and I used to always make rice and I used to always make beans. I used to love making all that stuff, but then now I just hate being in the kitchen. Now I Why? I even... How can you hate something so awesome? Because I just don't <laughs> like it. I don't know. And now I'm owning it. I'm like, fuck it. I don't care. I'm a Mexican. Oh. I can't or doesn't cook. I can cook. I just don't like cooking. And then now I just get criticized for it. Like, how? You don't make food for your own There's... child? It's like, I married someone that loves cooking, so he can make the food. Yeah, I think when one person takes over, both people don't need to do it. Yeah. I, I like cooking because I like people eating something that I created and enjoying it. Yeah. That's the part that I'm like, fuck. I, I'm not. So, cooking it's such a is creative okay. expression, uh, form of expression. Yeah, I just haven't found the passion for it, but I think that satisfaction is what I want. Because that's my mom, too. Like, I see my mom, like, when I eat something, she waits for my reaction. It's like, nurturing. Yes. That's what I do. You know, yesterday I made the fucking lettuce and I gave it to your mom, and I was like, ooh, 
Ooh, she gonna like it. And she liked Wait, it. Lettuce? What do you mean? So I found a uh, I found a fucking head of lettuce in our refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with it this bullshit? I was like, what am I gonna do with this bullshit? And I was like, well, this bullshit. I like, <laughs> and, I, and I needed some greens because I'm trying to get greens and fiber. So I took it and then I chopped up some garlic, threw some olive oil, and then some sesame oil and like salt, pepper, whatever. And I just seasoned it, and then it came out pretty good. Wait, you mean you stir fried lettuce or you made lettuce wraps? No, I stir fried the like oh, romaine oh, lettuce, yeah. but I never did that before. I, I treat it like it was like Chinese greens of some sort. That's interesting. You know, like, That's good. I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this bullshit? And tried it. Yeah, I cook because I want something like a flavor, but I can't get it at a store. And I think of the flavor. I think for me, the reason why I don't like cooking or just food in general is that I never really have much of a appetite. Like I know I get hungry, but it's not like I generally crave for certain things. It has to please you like it's a drug. When you smell it, when you put it in your mouth, all that stuff, and then you go, ah, oh, and you mm. melt. I feel like when I can enjoy that, that, but I don't feel that all the time, and it's mm. like very rare. It's very like, also too, like if you like cooking too, it's it's fun because you get to try new things. Like when I made them dinner, he was on macros. So I flipped what I was gonna make, and then I had to think about, okay, well, how can I create something with low fat, high protein, that's still Korean? And so I did Korean wraps, but then I didn't do brisket and I didn't do pork belly. I did uh, New York strip and I did pork loin instead. So it's like literally a third of the fat, you know? So it was like a different, so it was fun and exciting, you know? It's probably like, we, we've been doing it since we were little, like helping our moms in the kitchen yeah. and all that. See, my mom never cooked. It's kind of like that, yeah. And then I remember I would get rice and put butter and soy sauce and mix that shit and feed my grandma in the morning because she would feed me that shit. Dude, butter, soy sauce, and a fried egg? And you mix that shit? And then oh, Korean shit. seaweed. Oh yeah, and then you get the Korean seaweed and you put that with a piece of kimchi in there? Wow, yeah. Fucking good! Hey guys, thanks for watching the last episode. Did you love it? I know you did. But guess what? You can also follow us on our personal social media accounts with the links in the description box below. So go follow all of us. Now, to watch more videos, check them out up there.